Hey guys, back with another video. So I'm just gonna get into it and see what what we got. So So what's the energy? Okay. <laughs> we got the Six of Cups, which is, um, you could be nostalgic. You could be nostalgic. You could be, um, sorry, my nose is super itchy now. Ah. All right. So you could be nostalgic. You could be uh, reminiscing about the past. You could be thinking about somebody from the, your past. Um... I feel like this could be somebody from your childhood. Definitely somebody from your childhood. It could be um, yeah, somebody from your childhood. You could be thinking about them or they could be thinking about you. They could be wondering what you're up to. They could just be wanting to, you know, talk to you. Maybe they, they've seen um, your growth. Maybe they've seen your... Maybe they've seen your... your your Yeah, your growth. Maybe they've seen how balanced you've... you've um, you've been in life maybe they've seen that you've really tried to change your life for the better so maybe they're being nostalgic maybe it's somebody that you really don't talk to anymore it could be that um could be somebody that maybe hurt you in the past um yeah maybe somebody that like maybe yeah hurt you in the past and then they whoa okay this flew in here so six six so number 66 so six is the number of love harmony balance um six is um yeah it's about balance harmony is uh two of cups and the night this is a wish fulfillment so they somebody wants victory with you this could be something along the lines of somebody in your past they could want victory from for they want victory with you. This is somebody who um they love you very much. They see you as your wish fulfillment, as their wish fulfillment. They want you um I don't know, let me see. You could be an interracial couple or you can be uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be interracial, but Strength card. You playing with a Leo. Um, this definitely could be somebody who you really wanted to um con to create a family with. This could be somebody that you just really um you have a lot of Kurt. You have a lot of love for this person. You could feel that this person is extremely strong. Maybe they've gone through a lot of situations in their life. And you see that they're really a strong person. They nothing ever lets lets them nothing ever gets them down. That's what I was trying to say. So clarify. Let's clarify these cards. Sorry, if I'm looking around, it's just like something that I do because like I'm trying to. Okay, I'm like, why is it in reverse? My whole deck is in reverse. Okay. Um... They want victory with you. They want to balance out the situation. They want to give you equal give and take. They're seeing the situation as. Hold on a second. Let me see this really quick. So, um, how I can see... Okay. Um, so, you could be... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the six of cups, the six of cups and the four of pentacles, it could be somebody um, helping you out, helping you out and seeing that like you're 
Or maybe this person is like cherishing your relationship. They're really holding it close to their heart in a sense. Like they're really seeing this relationship and they're trying to like keep it close to themselves and like trying not to not to let anybody know. Maybe they're withholding their feelings. Maybe they're try not trying to tell you that they're um, thinking about you. The lover's card came out and the temperance card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Gemini. It doesn't have to be those signs. You can have those signs in your chart. I really try not to say signs anymore because honestly, they confuse me, but they're going to give you some sort of truth. This is some sort of truth. Um... They're going to take a leap of faith. This could be something along the lines of trying to judgment. Maybe there's some sort of like, yeah, decision that needs to be made. They're trying to make a decision. The king of swords, you could be married to this person. Um, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to marry with them. You could live with them. It could just be like a higher level of commitment. Taking a leap of faith. I told you, they want to take a leap of faith. They want to have stability with you. You're their wish fulfillment. They want to rebirth this. They want to... They definitely want to start over. This is... They want to end the karmic cycle. End anything that's been holding you back. And they want to work together. Three of Pentacles. They want to work together with you. Oh my gosh, look how funny. They could be a little bit like flighty right now. They could be just trying to look the king and queen of clubs. But look, they're not looking at each other. They're looking away from each other. <laughs> That's funny. It just makes me laugh because it's just, it's very true. <gasps> what happened? I don't know what happened to my, my music. It just stopped. Oh, there it goes. Something about my connection. Oh, look. It just so happened. The connection. It said connection stopped, but then it went through. It went It went back. So it's like, maybe they left you and they want to come back. Who knows? But there's this. You guys could be seeing a lot of birds or pay attention to birds. Because when I looked at this, I just saw this thing right here. And I was like, it's a bird. There, You could birds really can resonate with you guys the birds um the knight of wands came out so this could be like an in and out energy somebody who could just be like they they've been in and out of your life maybe in the past um yeah they've been just kind of flighty kind of just like sometimes but i see here let me see i do want to have a brand new beginning the lover's card came out this is I love this card. I really wanted to even get this tattooed on me. It's so sweet. Um, yeah, they want a passionate new beginning with you. They they want you to... I'm going to grab another deck really quick and see what I see. Let's see. So... <sighs> worth waiting for. So maybe this is worth waiting for. Maybe this is somebody from your past that you could be... Um, Thinking about wanting to reach out to them or wanting to reconcile or taking time to yourself, keeping an open mind about it. Let's see, what's the advice in regards to this relationship for my collective, who my viewer is? What is the advice? I'm gonna have a few cards. Forgiving and learning, you deserve love and engagement. Oh my god! <laughs> Express your love and the same for you to love. It's so sweet. There's so much passion for you guys. Um, all right, so we got you deserve love, you are lovable. So remember, you have the ability to be loved. Don't be so cold. Don't be so. I was just talking about don't be so cold. Don't be so you know don't be so serious like there's life is fun life is a blessing you have to remember every day is a blessing forgiving and learning it's okay the past is the past and we can continue to move forward and as long as you have the right mindset like that's really what we gotta do we just gotta move forward so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moment you got it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all the let me just say this you got expression of go ahead and make the romantic gesture and your love life is ascending to a higher level engagement 
So I don't know. Some of you guys might be getting some sort of higher level of commitment or engagement or something like that. Um, maybe you guys are reconciling. Maybe something. Maybe something has to has to end in order to for something. I'm telling you, the connection keeps stopping. Something has to end in order for something to begin. This is what I'm hearing right now. Something has to end in order for something to begin. They feel the same way. That's what I want. I'm inclined to say they feel the same way. Let's do a couple. Okay. Release your ex. Something has to end. What did I just say? Something has to end. You have to release your ex. Take this deep of faith. And you got to fix your finances. Something along the lines of you got to. Maybe you guys are fi fi figuring out your financing. Maybe, maybe there has. Yeah, maybe. Something to do with your finances. Don't worry about it. You guys have a lot of passion in your heart for each other. Just continue to move forward. Let's see what else do I want to give you guys. Let's give you guys a healing card. One sec. Okay. Transform at the bottom of the deck since your relationship. So this could be... I feel like this is a continuation from what I, my last reading that I had. That I just, I just did. Maybe it wasn't over yet. All right. Peace, spirit, what is this? We got two, control, compassion, two, ten. So complete. Compassion. Maybe try not to control the situation. Maybe have a little bit of compassion in your heart for the person, like for the things that they've gone through in their life. Um, yeah. Maybe just continue to know that, like, that, honestly, we go through things in our lives because we have to go through them in order to get to where we're supposed to be. I even had wrote that down, like, as one of my things. It's like, you have to go through this to become a better person. It's like, sometimes we have to go through the things that we go through because it really allows us to be better people. And I don't know why this stopped again. Let's see. I gotta redo that. So... Um, we got receive healing, alternative, and nurture. So compassion, nurture, um, receive healing. So these are all things that you need to self-love. Maybe you need to give this to yourself first so that you can receive the healing, so that you can, um, you know, continue to receive the blessings or to get blessings. You need to learn self-love first. So maybe that's what we need to, you know, awareness, compassion, intention, number 11. So yeah, um, reawaken, intention, and sincere relationships, number 29, 7, 11, and 29. Those are all my numbers. <laughs> um, so yeah, boundaries. Maybe you need to have some boundaries, meditate, all these things. So yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Transform yourself. We got it in us. Because we're in 2022, baby. That's all we have left is ourselves. <laughs> All right, guys.